Hi guys, so it's uh, BT here. Today we're going to be doing our first flights on the channel flying on Microsoft Flight Simulator Steam Edition. Uh, it's just going to be a short hop down from Belfast to Bristol, flying for VZ, just hours building. We flew over from Newcastle last night, so we're just going to be heading down to Bristol, then probably going back up to Newcastle after as well. It's looking like quite a nice flight. We're just in turnaround mode here, so let's get the aircraft set up. First of all, I'm going to go down to the init page. We got the latest air axe, that's alright. And we are Belfast to Bristol. Uh, let's make sure ground power. Wait, ground power, ground power unit is on. Yeah, that's fine. Right, okay, so we've got an alternate today of Echo Golf Hotel Quebec. Whap that in there. Uh, we are easy. 5-3 November Bravo cost index of 11 today and up to 310 so not too bad quite a short hop only 45 minute flight time and we've got a block fuel today of 5.0 tons let's head back over onto the init page on the other side 5.0 no cargo today which is a PAX flight and we have talking about PAX 110, so pretty light for the A320. I'll load that up instantly because we need a quick hop down. Head over to the flight plan page. We are departing from looking at the winds. Winds are uh, 90 degrees at 8 knots, so we'll be a 07 takeoff. No, uh, no standard instrument departures at Belfast as of yet. Heading straight down to Lisboa. Top one, wait, that's a punch in. And then from there, we shall be heading to L603 to Pepod, then to Lima 15, then to Mike K U X, then going to be a direct to Sosim. <laughs> Put that in there. Then Uniform Lima 1-5 to Rizla. You can put this in as a company but I just couldn't be bothered to be, to be frank with you. So that's why I'm doing it manually. It's not a big route anyway, so it should be all right. And then to final waypoint of Retsy. And um, we can plan the departure later on a flight. That's fine. All the waypoints are in all right. So we head over to the PIRF page, and it's going to be a flaps one takeoff today. And we're going to be 0 0.5 up on the trim. And... It's going to be a 1,000 feet acceleration altitude, but the engine outperformance is still going to be to the standard. And V1118, VR129, and V2130, it's alright. And um, we're just going to knock a flex down to 41, that's just the performance figures I've got. Okay, so this page, we're all alright, I think. Head back over. We can now get the door shut, get them closed up. Cool, and we can head up to the overhead panel, we can get the APU running, beacon lights can come on, seat belts can come on, and field bumps can also come on. Head over to the MCP, we've got a Q&H today of 9 or 9 or 6. Um, everything's checked on here, we can head, no ATC online at the moment, so we can head up to straight to 310. All brake can come on max. Switch over onto Unicom. Whap that in there. Speed brakes can come on to armed and TARA can come on also as well. Okay, so we'll just wait for the APU to go and we should be should be ready to go, to be honest with you. Switch another program on. Oh, yeah, we're all connected, that's fine. 
Right, so the APU's all running and we're ready for the push and start. So, push started. Cleared to start engine one. N1 is rising, that's all right. Lovely, lovely sound of those CFMs coming into life. To be honest, I don't know what I prefer, the CFMs or IAE variants. I mean, CFMs have got a tad more power and nice little updated interface as well which is good but I don't know they're all the same I guess okay that's engine one stable engine two ready to start and the famous barking dog coming into life for you who don't know it's just a hydraulic pump so don't get too worried okay uh, start to uh, push back to finish we can put the parking brake on and we can set flaps one just set the uh, brightnesses, personal preference really, but okay, so that's engine two stabilized, uh, ignition onto normal, overhead panel we can get those APUs off, strobes can come off, landing lights can uh, come out of their cage and taxi lights can also come on. We'll head down to the bottom panel and we can go to the facility page uh, 0 0.5 on the trim up and we can do the takeoff config as well. We're all, we're all green on that. So full left, full right, neutral, full up, full down, neutral, full left and full right. Okay so we're ready to go. Parking brake coming off and initial spill can come up. Ah, fairly straight down and then dip down into Bristol and we can program that to set as soon as we get there. No problemo. So as I say, this is my first FSX video. You probably well know I am spotter up at Newcastle so I don't tend to do a lot of this stuff, well, on camera anyway, but I've been doing FSX for about three years now and I started VATSIM about a year and a half ago and then I've started VA flying about a few months ago to be honest. I'm a member on VEZ. I'm a first officer B and just working my way up to the next rank. Uh, me and three friends fly on the air. Uh, together we got uh, our team speak and we normally fly flights together which is quite good on VATSIM as well. You might have seen us, me, Rohan and uh, Matt. And yeah, so we're going to be doing a lot more of these type of videos. So I'd like to know what you think, what you want me to do, any routes that you'd like to see. My home base is Newcastle, so anyone, any tune members on, on here, fancy doing any flights, then just give me a shout. And yeah, I think I might be starting up Twitch as well, doing a lot of streaming. Probably going to be daily streaming, so if you think that's a good idea, obviously just let me know. And I look forward to... Uh, forward to starting this new content with you. Also on a side note, doesn't mean I'm going to be stopping uh, what I normally do on the spot in Newcastle. I'm still going to be uh, still going to be up there, just had exams at the minute so that's why not much content's been out but come next week I'll be back up in Newcastle and I'll get some more content pushed out as quickly as I can. left and right
nearly there. The intersection for the runway now. Everything's looking all right. Uh, probably be a road and take off, but I need to set a few things up before I take off anyway. So clear left and right. Not that much traffic here today. Swing around. Okay, so landing lights can come on check and clocks are on and let's go 40% N1 check man flex SRS and nav listen to them beauties <laughs> One and rotate. Positive rate, gear is up and speed brake. It can come off now. Accelerating up nicely to be honest. Yeah, I can switch the autopilot on as well and land the lights can also come off because it's daytime and 10 miles per feet. There we go, acceleration altitude's coming down now. And plus the event to fly. And we can get those flaps up as well. Flap speeds come up above the green dot. Straight down onto the finals. We can always uh, get 
give our own headings we need, but that's okay, alright, let's find another approach fix. Get back over the plan. See how we're looking. Um, 91, 91 miles, like said. So, not too bad. I shall see you guys in a bit.
so I'm probably going to be doing more videos like this, more flight videos anyway, obviously said I'm going to be started twitching as well, and yeah, I mean, something new for me on the channel anyway, like I don't know if I was going to start a separate channel for it or not, but I thought I might just keep it on the same channel and see how it goes in a minute, and if it proves good, then I can always switch it over onto another channel as well. Uh, I'm going to be flying with uh, some more mates as well soon, so it won't just be me talking with we'll some more people. And hopefully it should be quite fun, something different. And uh, yeah, I'm seriously thinking about doing is a road to uh, road to Captain on BZ, you might have heard of it. Great, great virtual airline, uh, really good systems. And yeah, the highest on the leaderboard you can get is Captain, I believe. There is more, but Captain's what we're aiming for. And I'm nearly there, I'm, about, I'm on about 80, 90 hours at the moment, so should be cool once I get there, and it's in always never a pit system, which is pretty good. So yeah. Choppy. Oh, good, good. Okay, weather radar can come off now because we're coming over approach. Necessary frame scene hit. As I'm not running the best PC in the world. But as soon as we come into range here, we'll start the downwind. We can start the approach phase, I guess. Yeah, so. Uh, 130 should sort us all right, I think. Nice laser cloud. What I'm running, um, I'm running FTX Europe with Global Vector as well, sort of the rivers and stuff out. I got, um, what do I have? Rex, uh, Orbex, Trees, and then I'm running uh, just a three weather engine, FSX, WX, works quite well. Thinking about getting Active Sky, I'll probably get that soon. Uh, obviously this is the Airbus Airsoft uh, A320. I got both packs, I got PMD aircraft, and the Black Box A330 as well. And also running Rex textures, the clouds, soft cloud textures, which as you can see look absolutely stunning. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's alright. Just drop the Q&H now. And on to the attempt, we can drop the speed down, just down to flat one speed. And we get established nice and early, because nothing worse. You're on, you're on short finals and you're still half established. Then you rushing to get it all done, it's just not realistic. It's not what would happen in real life. But yeah, we should, uh, 2500 final altitude we can drop to. And then we want to be ideally under the glide before we hit the second localizer. Uh, yeah, let's see how it's looking outside. Okay, so not too bad. Section of the pipe's probably going to be a little bit slow just because we're running so much stuff in the background at the moment. That shouldn't be too bad. Thank 
localizer armed and localizer is captured, I believe. So we can switch the approach mode on as well. Cat 3 is going to be Cat 3 single, but it's not too bad. Just so we're ready for. Um, ready to set glide. And uh, flaps 2. Yeah, yeah, we're 90 ME out, so we'll get the gear down as soon as we can as well. She is. Gear can come down now. And um, we can also go to lap three as well. Just do the speed margins. A bit of cloud hanging over the airfield. But 2500. Scope is captured, so we can set our go around altitude to 3,000 feet. And we can also drop the speed down to 150 and we can extend the flaps well. The landing memo is complete, we're all green, no blues, which is good. What I tend to do is I keep the speed a bit high, up to about 3 miles out, just because I find sometimes the air bus can dip below and above the uh, ILS quite easily. It's just not very controlled, quite slow. So I just keep the speed up a bit. I mean, it's not unrealistic, I've seen it done in real life. It's pilot's discretion normally, unless there's a lot of traffic. But yeah, because we're at uh, 122 on the landing speed. Uh, I'm going to keep that for a bit. See, I love the dip below the glide a bit. It's annoying, but there's nothing you can do about it really. Lovely little bit of cloud hovering over there, above the field there. There we go, orb extra is coming into fashion as well, and we can select the speed and head over because I'm flying right hand side today. Got a joystick on the right, so keep it as real as I can. Hopefully, I don't slam the bird in the ground, which I know I've done many a time, but I'm just trying to get a bit better at it. So. That's the way it is, man. Right, uh, 2.7 me out. All right on the puppies. Bit low on the M. Um, bit low on the ILS. 1,000. But we can come back up. I'll bring down a manual in a minute. Uh, we'll take off manual. Back. Bit windy, but there we go. So one thing I got taught is when I was down in the uh, CTC Aviation Training School, I was in the 737-800 simulator landing at East Midlands, and we were doing an ILS, and he was, I was focusing on, you know, watching the ILS beacons on the ND, not really taking much attention outside window, but one point which he said, a really key point is, pick a spot on the runway and focus on it. Don't tend to look down, look down at obviously from glance at the instruments, but focus on the spot on the runway, that should bring you down to the correct 500. Keep check the puppies. 400. 400. 300. Alright, and the puppies are dipping below a bit on the island. 200. Uh, we'll make up for that. 200. There we go. 100. 100. Slide slow. 50. 40. Minimum Slide 50. 30. 40, 20, retard, 30, 10, 5, 20. Ah, decent ladder to be honest. We'll have a look at the vehicle speed in a minute, see what it was like, but yeah, we might be able to come off in the next. Uh, we'll go manual braking, should be able to make it. A little bit windy coming down, but not too bad. And there we go, we can go. Uh, reverse is idle, and we're manual braking. Speed brakes can be unarmed. A uh, bit of a tight turn. Flaps can go zero. And we can get ready for taxi. Yes. So yeah, the ILS can come off. We 
can head up to the overhead, landing lights, strobes can come off, and the APU can come on. Other than that, we're alright, landing with a decent bit of fuel. Let's have a look at that landing speed. Oh yeah, nice one, 198 feet per minute, so we get a decent amount of points on that, and personal preference, I quite, quite enjoyed that. Dodgy frames going on, I think it's because my room's absolutely boiling. Because for a change it's actually sunny up here in Newcastle. Believe it or not. Oh, we we'll come in here. off because the APU's on, that's alright. TCAS can come off, uh, radios they can stay on because we turn around to stay, go up to the top and we can take the fuel pumps off. We can get the doors open, barking dogs, hydraulic pumps, ground services, we can get the uh, external power on, APU can come off, beacon lights can come off, seat belt signs can also come off. And that's us done. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the flight. Something a bit different from me. Obviously it's going to be the start of something good I hope. Any suggestions just drop them down below. You know I'll, I'll reply as quickly as I can as soon as I see them. And yeah I hope you've enjoyed it. Oh wait. Just got a guy spawned up over there. We'll see how we go over and see him. New easy jet livery. Very nice. And there I am. So yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Now it's Beast Boy signing out.